I'm John Durstein. Uh, this is one of our tow planes that we're using here at our aero tow event. This is a uh, quarter scale model of a PZL Wilga uh, 35. And uh, this is one of the uh, good all around tow planes that uh, we've been using here. Uh, this is manufactured by Frisch Modelbau in Germany. It's imported by Cell Planes Unlimited in New York City, run by Robin Lehman. Uh, there's quite a few of these kits around the country now. They're very popular. It's a very easy airplane to fly. Uh, this particular model has a 70cc Bryson motor in it, which is their Bryson 4.2 cubic inch. We're using a 2410 prop, and with a 2410 prop, it's turning in the 7,000 RPM range. This kind of a setup uh, works real well for towing up to 35 pound sailplanes with, with no problems. It has a wide speed range. It'll fly fast, it'll fly, fly slow. It has flaps, so you can bring it in very steep for quick landings to get sailplanes up fairly quickly. 
Um, I do want to take a second and show where we hook up the tow line to our tow planes. The tow release is mounted right here on the wing, wing spar joiner uh, box. And this is bolted through. Now this is a homemade aluminum device uh, that works real well. It was milled out of bar stock. It's very simple to make. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice one to use because you can easily hook up the tow plane by putting the loop in there and then actuating your servo. And then a piece of music wire comes up through the hole and the tow line is then locked in place. It's good for quick releasing and quick hooking up when you need to reattach another tow plane to the tow line. Uh, this plane weighs around 26 and a half pounds ready to go. Uh, this is one of the lighter ones. Some of them built will weigh up to 30 pounds. They still fly well uh, at that weight. Uh, we're using uh, a smaller gas tank in this one. This, this one has a gas tank with a 32 ounce gas tank. We're moving uh, forward to using 64 ounce gas tanks in most of these now so that if we're having an event that we don't have to fill the gas very often. Um, as I said, it's a very easy flyer. Uh, it's a fun airplane to tow with and it's a very, a very enjoyable aircraft to, to use. Well, as you know, we're here at Elmira, New York, at the uh, Glider Fun Fly, and we're mixing the full size and the RC models. I'm from California, uh, so we've come about 3,000 miles for this, along with a couple of buddies of mine. We're uh, represented in the West Coast. We have people from all over the country, I'm sure you know. Uh, I wasn't able to bring an airplane uh, with me because of the shipping. It was just impossible to get it on the little uh, puddle jumper I took into here. So. Uh, a good friend of mine uh, lent me one of his to use for the weekend, and we've uh, been blessed with some really great weather. And uh, as of yesterday, I wouldn't have given you good odds for that, but we're real happy to be here. It's been a great event. I'm Pete George from St. Louis, Missouri. This is my third year at Elmira. I brought this weather with me. It started in Indianapolis. Uh, as I was coming through Indianapolis, I looked off to my south and saw a funnel cloud. First time I've ever seen a tornado. And of course, wouldn't you know, uh, my fuel warning light was on. I had to get gas. I'm driving down the highway, this tornado is pacing me. I'm looking for a gas station, I found one. I get in, just as I get in there and start to pump gas, the tornado knocked the power out to the gas station. I didn't know how much, if any, gas I got. 
Uh, I hopped in my van. The attendant said, don't worry about it. Get out of here. I, I looked about 1,500 feet away from me, and here's this funnel cloud, and I could hear it. It's throwing debris up in the air. I hopped in my van, got on the highway, and the tornado chased me for another half hour or so down the interstate till I could get a, find another gas station. Uh, by that time, it crossed over the interstate, and I felt pretty safe. But uh, as Robin said, uh, flyers funnel into Elmira. Hey, I'm Thomas Schmidt from Germany, from the southwest down there in the Black Forest. And, you know, coming over this year, the second time for the Elmira meet. And it's some um, nice flying today, so the weather turned out better than the forecast is. And looking forward for another flight. And the banker tonight, talk to people. Today I fly with my DG600, it's a third scale model with uh, 5 meters, 0.66 centimeters, and has flaps and it's good for thermaling as well as for aquatics. can do almost everything that you can do with a sailplane with this thing. We even do some winch launching over there with this ship. And well, looks okay.
modern scale soaring events like Elmira not only draw international participation at the field, these events utilize state-of-the-art computer technology to provide nearly instantaneous coverage worldwide via the Internet. Michael Shelberg explains. Okay, my name is uh, Michael Shelberg. I'm working for the International Forum for Modelers here in Germany, and I'm here to cover the whole event uh, with uh, the internet, live pictures and reports. So I'm sitting here the whole day in this cellar and uh, getting pictures with a digital camera, walking down in here and uh, sending it over to the German surfers so everybody can see live with a little time delay what's happening down here. I'm happy that uh, you guys help me together us bring the whole story here through the world. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alex Wenzel. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Um, here with Icar sailplanes uh, today. We're flying at Elmira 98. Um, this is one of Icar's kits, and it's ASW 27, four meter. Um, it's fully loaded, uh, retracts, uh, spoilers, uh, air brakes, flaps, the whole nine yards. Amazing airplane. I flew it uh, yesterday, did a tow on it, and uh, very pleased with the aircraft. And I hope to be doing some more towing today and some more flying. Okay, I'm Ben Wilworth, and I'm from Elmira, New York. This is a SIG spacewalker. This is my winter, fall, spring project. Uh, it's got a OS 300 twin four cycle engine. Swinging about a 20 by 10 prop. It's built specifically for towing. Here's the tow release, which is uh, built in uh, with extra supports to keep it strong in that area. It's dedicated to a friend of mine, Skip Gibbs. It's called the Skip Gibbs Special. He's no longer with us and can't fly, but love to love this sport. 
So hopefully this plane will give us uh, plenty of service for aero towing and uh, get a lot of those nice gliders up in the air. Hi, my name's Chris Murphy. I'm from Easton, Connecticut, originally born and raised in Manhattan. Uh, I'm here on Harris Hill for Aero Tow 98, and we're doing some awesome slope soaring and some good flying in between the rainy weather. All in all, it's been a good time, and uh, I'm hoping to do it again next year. Okay, my name is Ralf Scheifele. I come from Germany, from the factory AMS, and I'm the boss of there. We come here to the United States to this event to show two new products. You can see here the Nimbus 4D with 7 meter, and here the Ventus to see with 4 meter, with winglets and a lot of flaps. And this is a rain glass, and this is open glass. The gliders are fly very fast, while the wings are, have a lot of carbon in there. In front and upside down is full carbon. So you can fly very fast. The same is it here of the Ventus to see with four meters. The winglets here uh, absolute full scale we in the original. We built this winglets we in full scale. So is it also the decor from this glider and this glider absolute original from the first glider as his build of Nimbus and Ventus. Oh, hello, my name is Haas Matthias. I'm a German pilot. I'm from Germany uh, near Stuttgart. There are mountains we've flown all the year with big gliders like my Habicht. This glider is uh, one, two, th three. It's a scale glider. It's, uh, I think, uh, in Europe uh, only there are two gliders like this Habicht. In this size, it weighs about about uh, 36 pounds. The wingspan is four meters 53, and it can go very fast. It's a glider for aerobatic. The original was flown in 1940. It was built to make uh, aerobatic. In the 30s, in Germany, the gliders damaged in the air because they, uh, they were not very stable. stable. And then the Germans built this Habicht. It was the first aerobatic glider in Germany. You can, fl uh, you can fly all aerobatic figures. 